So here's a follow-up to the story I covered earlier today, which a lot of you guys took a major interest in because you don't want to see this young guy make a colossal mistake with this girl who, as you all are aware, asked for an open relationship one month before the freaking wedding. And the title was, my fiance asked me for an open relationship after eight years. Been with her for eight years and she's asking for the open relationship, claiming she's bi and wants to explore that side of her. But we all know darn well she wants to explore instead of clam, she wants to explore sausage. And you all remember the little bad signs that she had that was going and hiding the phone and obviously sleeping over that friend's house. That was a friend. That was a guy. And all her friends does open marriages. And I advise him to run for the hills and the marriage because it is going to be miserable. She is going to cheat on him left and right. And this is just to and guarantee you she's already cheating. Let's, let's be honest here. And I'm doing this one in the comments, guys, because what's great is in the comments section, it shows you so many guys are waking up. Clearly, this content is spreading like wildfire around the world. And all guys are saying to him the same thing you guys are saying in the comments section. In fact, one guy says he recommends my channel, which I, I copied his quote, his comments, so you guys can see that. So it's great. So I'm going to do this here, the comments. You'll enjoy it. And it really will demonstrate to you guys people are waking up. And I think that's awesome. <clears throat> one guy says here, her bringing this up in the first place tells you where her mind is and is 100% not centered on you. You would think before the wedding she'd be centered on him, the love of her life. Nope. That's getting some guy who's 30 years older than her sausage. I would highly recommend telling her you thought about it and you have come to the conclusion that open relationship is a good idea. Listen, hang on. No commitment and she can sleep with whomever she wants. Whenever she wants and she doesn't have to tell you at all. Then tell her you really hope this will make her happy and fulfill all her wants and needs that she has. Then don't talk to her about it, anything else, and tell her you're sorry and you're opposed to it in the first place and tell her you have to go. As soon as you're clear of her, block her on everything. As soon as you can get away from her, let everybody in your life know and in her life know as well that the wedding is off because she wants to sleep with other guys and you don't want anything to do with a woman like that. A freaking man. Now, that's funny and all, letting her think it's okay and doing all that. That's a good story. But honestly, to save drama, I would just end it. Now the guy says here, he says, he has to understand I'm trying to be as blunt as possible to put this into his head. He has to visualize this. OP, she wants to F other men one month before you're supposed to be married. Is that what you want your married life to be like? And he wrote that in giant letters and bold. That's what his life will be like. She is literally showing you that she, she who she is and how she wants your marriage to be. This woman will never... Be faithful to you, and cannot ever, you cannot ever trust her. Break this off immediately and permanently. Again, all in giant letters. Yes, this is what his marriage will be. And again, what I said about pay attention to your girl hangs out with. All her friends are doing the open relationship thing. Can't stress that enough. Now the guy says here, now listen to this. He says, dude, you have lost your mind. The relationship is dead. Go to Strong Successful Mail on YouTube and listen to the disasters that occur for open relationship. Shout out to the brother that recommended the channel. Uh, they only have an 8% success rate. I don't know where he got that number from. She is already cheating. Or has somebody lined up? How on God's green earth are you willing to allow your fiancé to get run through right before the wedding? Get your head out of your ASS. If you agree to an open relationship, it will not end at the wedding. You'll be showing weakness. And women hate weakness. And your life will become a horror story until you are broken. How much strain, how much stuff are you going to, how much SEX are you going to be getting compared to what your fiance will be? Imagine you sitting at home, she'll get dressed up and tell you to go to bed because she won't be home. Get a spine and balls and end it. Who cares if it breeds resentment? You are done. Not your monkey, not your circus. She doesn't respect you or the relationship. She thinks you will roll over to make her happy. If the streets are more important to her, let her have them without you. Run and never look back. For the love of God, don't do this. Blunt and to the point. With guys, you have to be blunt. Girls, you ever hear girls talk about problems and they try to sugarcoat things to make their girl feel better because they're all in touch with their feelings? And with guys, you got to be as blunt as can be. That's why I smack everybody around when they're being morons because they need every guy needs a smack every now and again. Hell, even I need a good smack every once in a while if I'm doing something stupid. But I'm not going to share that here. So, uh, I ain't perfect. We all make mistakes. But the point is, all guys need blunt direct information to help them out. Another guy says here, do not marry her. Do not postpone anything. 
and with end your relationship. She clearly has some, somebody else in mind with whom she already cheated or is close to cheating. This woman is not a safe partner. Not now, not any time in the future. If you want to marry someone, then you just want this person and do not test how it is with another person. It does not matter if it is a man or woman. Alone, she asked... Uh, alone that she asked the ultimate declaration that this woman has not only not, o- not only you in her mind, but another person. A person she finds more attractive than you. You are young, have self-respect, and end it. Right. This young guy has his whole life ahead of him. Right. He's 24. His prime hasn't even begun. Right. He needs to be focused on himself, building his career, whatever that may be. Getting life experience, starting to build wealth, pay off debts, whatever. Then build wealth. Not getting married this young, that is insane. Who is telling him this is a good idea? Maybe he's from a religion that promotes it. There's a certain religion that I can think about. I'm not going to say what it is. That definitely likes to promote early marriage and pumping out lots of babies. And they're located in the West. Nothing against them, but that's the culture. And many people have told me that. And it's just a bad idea. And last comment, this guy says here, At the very least, your girlfriend isn't ready to get married. But when someone asks for an open relationship, it's because they've already got somebody lined up, or more likely, they are already cheating. Ding, ding, ding. And looking for retroactive justification. You already know she's not honest, so being in an open relationship with her isn't going to work, since she's unlikely to even follow the rules you agree to if they are inconvenient. She also believes that SCX with other people is a, isn't a deal breaker for you if you're foolish enough to marry her anyway. Be thankful that she showed you who she is before getting married. Yes, that's the number one comment that you guys had in the other video. Hey, dude, be happy she let you know prior to the wedding. She could have waited until they got married and then brought this up. If you're smart, you'll call off the wedding. If you're really smart and looking for a long-term relationship, you'll leave and look for someone who wants the same thing as you. It's not this girl. And I'm going to add on that, if he's really, really smart, he's going to focus on himself, immerse himself in RP content that's all out there, including me, and learn. Learn reality. And reality ain't what is shown in the movies or the TV shows or what these guys' blue-pilled uncles and fathers say it is. It's bullshit. And it's unfortunate. It's so sad that the way the downward spiral things have gone, where like you treat your girl well and you're loving and supportive and all that, and immediately that's interpreted as weakness, and they don't respect you. And also from the other end, thanks to the feminist movement teaching gals that you can't be strong and empowered unless you've hooked up with every dude that could fill up Fenway Park. And you get the point. And do this to good men, and that all guys are the enemy, and that, and that if you don't do that then that guy's going to do it to you, which is bullshit. And when women complain that there's no gentleman out there and things like that, well, who do you think's the cause? Let, let's be honest here. So I really hope this young guy maybe sees this video or the other videos here. We're here for your brother. We don't want you to get hurt. I, I've been harsh and the other guy's been harsh, but it's to help you. You don't need to be married to her. End it. Okay? If your family truly loves you, they will understand. If they don't understand, well, you need to question some things. But you're 24 years old. You're a grown-ass man. It's time to start acting that way. And I believe you can. I believe you'll do this well. Make us proud.